Hi everyone, welcome back to the Nerds Lair. I'm your host, Juancho, joined by Jay. What's up, how you doing? Quite well, and a uh, recent birthday boy, uh, Geek Takeover. Hey, what's up, how y'all doing? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, and, and our host, Juancho, since, you know, Jay doesn't want to introduce him. Don't worry, I got you. He introduced himself. But is that the same thing? Yes. <laughs> I didn't even hear what you said. I said I got to introduce you since he didn't want to introduce you. Oh. Anyways, uh, happy late birthday, man. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I already told you. So like five times already. I even like seen <laughs> you. Also, you know what else turned? Something turned eight. It was Batman or Superman. Uh-huh. And yeah. the Power Rangers movie, and oh, that's right. Shit. Logan recently had a anniversary as well. Yeah, March. Uh, Godzilla versus not not Godzilla versus Kong. Uh, John Wick kind of had an anniversary. Sorry, John Wick four. Uh, and God, what else did I see? Because I was think like that Godzilla months. Kong did come out in March. I the think first... it came out the first week of April. It did. Hmm. I don't know. I just know I've seen a lot of these movies on my birthday. I'll never forget. I actually watched Power Rangers and Batman vs Superman in at Universal Studios, and one of them, somebody brought their baby with them and it was crying. <laughs> I think it was Power Rangers. Yeah, March thirty first, they came out about Dylan Kong. Okay, so you, yeah, about eight, yeah. damn, it's almost the same exact thing with this one. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think I brought that comparison up to uh, one. Nobody asked. Hey, did you bring up that comparison? Yeah, bro. Oh, cool. Wait, yeah, Jay's getting his birthday soon here. Yeah, the thirty first. Yeah. Uh, it's what, yeah. Saturday or is it Saturday or Sunday? Sunday. <laughs> Sunday. 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 Thirty first birthday. Let's go, Jay. <laughs> bro, finally might be able to use some rated R TV MA language on the cast. <laughs> Now what's it called? I'm turning 31 and Steven's still older than me. <laughs> yeah, but I'm still sexy too. Okay, let's uh, Godzilla and Kong, we brought it up. Uh, it comes out Friday. We're we're all excited, right? We we talked about it in the show. We're looking forward yeah. to it. Yeah. yeah. We're in our kaiju era. I've been a fan since, you know, 1954. But no, uh, how do you guys think it will do? Like, the reviews came out, and it's been looking, I'd say, decent. Um, I think we would, ha- to answer that question, you have to look at it, the box office and this new era, because we're not in the, we're not in the box office anymore where movies, where, like, every summer box office is going to make a billion. Or close to a billion. Yeah. So I, I'm I'm going to say 800, 900. No, I think 800 is more believable. 800 mil. Oh, so you're like, how it make overall? You're, you're that confident? Because the last one made 470. Which was good, too, considering it came out on, on a Mac. Dual. Yeah. Also, it doesn't uh, have a lot of... Oh, sorry. We're gonna say something. Oh no, I was gonna say I didn't know how much the first one made, so maybe I'll I'll, be, I'll go back down. I was I'm gonna say more than last one, but I'm I'm gonna stick with seven hundred then. Yeah, to date the highest growth scene has been uh Kong Skull Island five hundred uh, sixty eight million. Yeah. But also I was gonna bring up uh you don't have a lot of competition when you think about it. Uh, you only got like, Ghostbusters, Doom. yeah, Ghostbusters, and, and Blood and Honey too. <laughs> and hey, you don't be dissing on it. That's currently like a hundred or something on Rotten Tomatoes. <laughs> Crazy. And you still have like Doom Part Two playing and Kung Fu Panda Four, both of which have been doing quite well. Like even we reported in our in the Culture Shock in the Insta page, we reported that it passed like five hundred. and 60? Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
it's quite packed. Uh, you, JD, you wanna? How much do you think it'll? Or how how do you see it doing? Well, what's it called? I, I think I'll I'll agree with Stephen at least like maybe seven hundred mil. Uh, but I I do think it it could probably surpass that, like maybe, um, because like with the recent rise of the kaiju basically um godzilla so people will be like oh my god yeah godzilla minus one you know if if they're just like oh yeah godzilla godzilla you know let me watch that god um, minus one was really good and stuff like that um different flavor too yeah yeah (laughs) you got your serious was a minus one and then you got like the campy nonsense was yeah just like the yeah. I'll also want to add. I think Monarch will definitely help as well. Um, <laughs> oh yeah, to, yeah. To get people to watch it, mm-hmm. and also the marketing has been really great. <laughs> like, like they they've a really good marketing run, like with the chocolates and stuff, the soda, the hot sauce. Didn't they do that for Godzilla versus Kong? Yeah, like the same the same thing. Yeah, they did a partnership with Carlos Jr. So, so I'll, I'm just saying, I'm, I'm not like trying to like deny anything or say. I'm just saying it's like it, they did the same thing though already. But it's smart. We can't deny it. Oh, you know. I'm I'm not. That's, that's, I'm not like disagreeing with him in any way. Yeah. I'm just saying it's like but they they did it last time. Yeah. <laughs> I yeah I, I didn't even know they did um did all that for um. I know at least they did the chocolate and the burgers. I don't know about the hot sauce. Yeah, like they, they, like they, they had hot sauce and uh, friggin' soda this time, and stuff like that. But then also, um, what was it? Was it uh, London? Uh, uh, they had the uh, well, it's not Baltimore because there's still a bridge standing. Wow. <laughs> uh, but yeah, no, I think it was London where the like the spikes of Godzilla and I think it was just Kong. Yeah, like you sound. Yeah, like that, that's pretty, um, pretty cool and stuff like that. And uh, I think I saw, um, in New York, it was like one of those 3D, um, yeah, um, it was like the screen on like a building, like you know, where it has like the 3D stuff and like it would look like it's popping out at you on the street. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I remember I'm um, seeing one of those, it was like Godzilla blasting like the pink. I remember um, seeing that on uh, Twitter. Um, yeah, but I mean, I th- yeah, I think seven hundred. Like, I, I'm confident it will do really well in the box office, at least. Mm, we'll do better than Madam Web. Of course, Blood and Honey could do better than Madam Web. Yeah, uh, <laughs> the rating, it, like six hundred, seven hundred, like you guys have said. Around there, uh, you know, people don't don't go into these thinking they're gonna be like the next Citizen King, but they're fun. We all like, like we, I said earlier, we've all you know enjoyed all these past four movies, and Monarch was really good. So yeah, is there? You know, got Baby Kong, got a, you know, the Ice Godzilla, and then Scar King. Isn't the baby Kong's name like Tito or something? Diddy Kong. Diddy Kong. <laughs> it's the last member of the DK crew. He also got. Oh, well, actually, I saw something before we started recording. So to all the all those viewers, you know, be careful out there. Try to avoid spoilers, but you know we. Well, and what else? What all opens in April again? Movies. Yeah, like I don't think fucking I don't think anything like big notable. I think the next notable movie after Kong is Rise of Sorry Dawn of the Ri, Ri, Dawn the of Kingdom. the Rise of the Planet. Yeah, Kingdom of Planet. Whatever that long title. Rule messing all the title. <laughs> like that's such an unnecessarily long title. Rise of one. the Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes or Dawn of the Kingdom of the Planet. Like why? Same with Birds of Prey. I'm I'm sorry. I like that movie, but what's uh, it again? That's not Birds of Prey. Like the Fantabulous. Oh, yeah, Birds of Prey. The fa- 
the fabulous emancipation of one Harley Quinn. Yeah, yeah. But I feel like that's more like a subplot, like yeah, Thor like, Ragnarok. You know what I mean? But like, like this for Planet of the Apes is like the actual name. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. it's not like Transformers Revenge of the Fallen. Uh, or Rise of the Beast. Or Geeks in Michigan. <laughs> well, I'm not going to get to Michigan through Baltimore. What's up, brother? <laughs> uh, anyways, uh, you know, a little funding dropped. Alien Romulus first trailer, a little teaser. Uh, well, guys, what do you think? Start with you, Jay. Um, that was a banger ass teaser. Like it, it looks like they're definitely going back to the um, original roots of Alien, just like horror. The well, they're all horror movies, but like less action. Like definitely, it definitely looks like it's gonna have less action and like more horror sequences mm-hmm. and like just alien picking them off one by one and stuff. And then also, yep. Wait, can you hear me? I couldn't okay, hear you. <laughs> Oh my god! Like, you know, I he just, I was going crazy. just cut out. Yeah, I thought uh, I was going crazy. So like, <laughs> we heard we heard what all you said just up until like a second ago. Yeah, like, oh. but you're talking about how it like it go back to it, its horror roots. Yeah, I heard this man go, uh huh, and I was like, that's a very sarcastic, uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> I was surprised he didn't say anything. I, I thought you, <laughs> but um. Yeah, like, it, it definitely looks like it's going to be a lot more scarier than that. Yeah. Uh, Steven? Um, I agree with Jay is on how it's going to be, like, scary. Uh, I think after watching it, the ambiance in the trailer alone is enough to, like, give you, like, I feel uncomfortable vibes. And I'm so excited because I it, it, we just had a trailer a couple weeks ago for The Strangers, and that's one of my favorite horror movies. I don't even really put it as like horror; it's because it's not like scary. It's just terrifying. It's how like, yeah, it's terrifying and suspenseful. Yeah. But having those kind of like trailers come kind of back to back for horror genre, oh, we so back. Yeah, you messaged you like, dude, horror is back. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, horror movies. Yeah, I was like, I, I said horror movies are back. Yeah, people always think they, they belong in October. It's like, no, spread them out. You know? yeah. Summer, any anytime. Yeah, we're we're back. Uh, you know, I love Alien. I love Aliens. So this is this almost made me cry in a sense, like hearing that music too, and then that just shot like the blood splattered, and then the face huggers. Stuff like that. Cool. And seeing the Xenomorph when it when isn't that cool. Plus you got, you know, Aya Corazon. She had a battle being in a being in a bad movie. Now she's gonna battle with Xenomorph. So now that you brought up that face hugger scene, I uh, I looked at yeah, you and started laughing because it not gonna lie, it looked a little goofy to me just seeing all those face huggers just run out and then just like what? <laughs> yeah, I think uh, you and I talked uh, how Fede Alvarez. Uh, he said, uh, "Oh yeah, we're gonna be um, you know, more yeah. practical, less yeah. like digital effects now." Yeah, he said that yeah. there's very minimal digital effects. Yeah, which is good, you know. And he also said, "Uh, Ridley Scott and James Cameron loved it." So, yeah, we're we're, we're back. Yeah, now we just need a good slasher. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, we we had one six years ago. Oh, actually, was things even good? Did you guys see that one? Uh, I have not. I think it's going to be on Max or Netflix. No, it's it's on Netflix. I think. 
Hmm. I should probably check it out. Jay, did you see it? I know I do keep up more with that stuff. See what? I didn't hear what Thanksgiving. you Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. No, I haven't seen that one. I I've heard pretty all right things about it. Yeah. I know our buddy Enzo didn't think highly of it, but Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know, uh, August, get here already. Yeah. Speaking about things we want here soon, uh, Marvel 1943, Rise of Hydra. Steven, you want to start us uh, off? Because I know you want to. I think it looks phenomenal i i hold my breath for the graphics even though it's made with the unreal engine but i hold my breath because i know a lot of video games use cinematic trailers uh that aren't like actual in-game footage yeah. so i i kind i kind of lean and i'm like mm, is this really what it's going to look like it, it could be close but i'm not going to hold my breath that we're actually going to see king ezekiel this damn good as black panther I almost said t'challa <laughs> Um, but I think it looks great. Cap, I might have to warm up on. Um, I, we, I hope that it, I would love it to be multiplayer, but I won't be mad if it's not. I hope that you could switch like, a uh, Miles and Peter and Spider-Man 2. Uh, and I know that I will play so many hours in that game, and I'm going to play so many hours as Black Panther. I told my girlfriend, I said, when this game comes out, you will lose me. <laughs> <laughs> Unless you want to sit there and watch me. I, t- I was like, straight up, I'm like, I'm going to let you know now. You're not going to hear from me. <laughs> Don't think I'm dead. You know, guarantee now. <laughs> So, those are my thoughts. Uh, oh yeah, and also, I don't, I don't like uh, the accent for the Wakandan accent. It just sounds very generically African to me. Uh, at least based off like the one trailer. Maybe after playing the game, it'll, it'll feel different. Yeah. But we're still like two years away now. We're a year away. It comes out next oh, year. Oh, a year away. Sorry, sorry. But yeah. Yeah, I was about to say. Um, so I mean I'll, I'll I'll hold out for that part, but maybe I'm just used to like the MCU Wakandan accent because I mean that's I guess the only one you can go off of. But yeah, uh, Jay, you saw this. Well, what are your thoughts? I mean, I'm on the same page as Steve. The graphics, well, the cinematic trailer looked great. Um. What's it called? Being able to play as both of these characters, and also just the voice actor for, um, what's his name? Black Panther. Got friend Cyborg. <laughs> Cyborg as Black Panther. Yeah. And, or uh, Aqualad as well. I'm pretty sure he does Aqualad. And uh, Ezekiel, right? And The Walking Dead. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I swear, I swear he was something else recently. Sorry, Karen you can Payton. keep talking. Yeah, yeah. now that now, now you said that, yeah, he was in something recently. Was he an invincible? Is he Samson? I think he is. Yeah, I th- I think he is Samson. He is. I just I looked it up. Okay, so that must that must be it. Okay. Yeah, I was, I was like, he's he's. I was like, I swear I've seen him in something within like the last week. Yeah, yeah. And uh, but um, oh yeah. I um, but I don't know how to feel about the like the generic soldier and Wakandan spy. And someone brought this up, and I really hope it's not the case that they might have MJ like missions. From Spider Man, I I really hope that's not the key. well. Well, let me chime in with that because you're gonna tell me that you wouldn't want to play as a Dora Milaje. Is 
she doing blood in? Because they just if she's if she's a woman working with the Black Panther, I am ninety percent certain it is Dora Milaje. Britain, they have so many women teams. It's not even funny. They have so many women teams. Hey, all I'm, that's just all I'm saying is that. Um, and then also, really quick before you get before you or Juan give your opinions, I was watching the trailer. And Cap says there's three super soldiers, and obviously, you know, that's him, Black Panther, and then Red Skull, most likely. But yeah. imagine if, because Bucky's not, like, his psychic, imagine if it's because he's already gone, and they just, like, I guess that wouldn't make sense to already have him, like, go and come back as Winter Soldier so quickly, now that I think about it out loud. But that would have been kind of cool, like, having a boss fight where Cap versus Winter Soldier and then Black Panther versus Red Skull or something. Or they could do, or was Zemo a super soldier, like in one of the versions? Uh, like the I don't think he was a super. I don't think he was a super soldier at that time. Okay. Um, I think that at that time he was just a normal person. Mm-hmm. So, uh, so I know. I, I is it just like every time I hear Cyborg now, I just think of a, uh, you know, uh, Carrie Payton's voice now. It's just, Whenever I hear someone else like do it, I'm like, oh, this doesn't sound right. Or just read it in the comics. Like, but anyways, uh, no, I, I agree with both of you guys. The the Unreal Engine looks great. That scene alone was him and Cap and, you know. You, you said that shit right? does not belong to you. Yeah, dude, they're just like. I just literally like, just think about that that line all day, every day. Yeah, no, it was badass and. Dude, is it me or Cap's design? Like, or was it the model? It looked kind of like why yeah, Russell? Agent. Yeah, yeah. In the in the nose, it does. But oh. I feel like you also have to think it's like okay, this is the '40s. He's not gonna have the modern outfit. Yeah. So true. at least, so I mean, I don't know. It to me, it doesn't really matter because you have or what's his name? Was it Peyton? Carrie. Yeah, Carrie Peyton. Carrie. Okay. You have him as Black Panther, and I genuinely... That is, like, the only thing I care about. But the rest of the cast looks good, too, when they reveal that, so... Yeah. I was going to ask him... Oh, yeah, so... Is this, like, their first game for, uh... Was it Skydance? Mm, that you guys yes. know? Yes. Yes. Oh, and I should also mention... Um... This is also work. They're working with. Oh, I can't think of her name, but she was like the director for like the first two Uncharted games. Amy Henning. Yeah. So the parkour is going to go fucking crazy. Oh my god, that is exciting. Sure. 2025. Yeah, it just feels like in a. When they announced it's like 2022, like the D23. No, I think they just announced it last year. Was it last year? Damn. It feels yeah. longer, but. So, better be wait, worth the wait. Yeah. yeah, I want to say they announced it early last year. Yeah, yeah. For sure. Oh, yeah. Was out of the way. Now we got. Oh yeah, you and I were talking a bit about this for the show, Stephen. Uh, uh, Anthony Mackie confirms there's not going to be a season two of Falcon Winter Soldier. Yes, which to my response was makes sense because it would be a Falcon, or not? Sorry, a Captain, Captain America and Winter Soldier. Yeah. I think the one thing that I'm the most disappointed by, which I think we all knew already, was Sebastian Stan confirmed to not come back for a cap four, which is disappointing because I think him and Anthony Mackie work so good together. But at the same time with Thunderbolts filming and it's a Sam Wilson story, it makes sense to not rely on um Bucky. Yeah. He could because I feel like I feel like cameo. But yeah, sorry. I, I just feel like he people would just see that and think and want Chris Evans and connect it to Chris Evans, so maybe that's why. 
the the Trinity. Yeah. yeah. The Cap Trinity. Yeah. But also no Zemo too. Well, I I don't think anyone was expecting Zemo, but people were expecting Bucky. And I think like Zemo that. is more and was more expected for Thunderbolts. Thunderbolts, which we haven't. I mean, has that even been confirmed? I think they. I don't even, I don't think he's going to come back, which is weird. Yeah, but it was uh, a abomination. But yeah, yeah, that's a topic for another day. But uh, Jay, uh you hear Anthony Mackie's uh, comments? What do you think? I mean, yeah, to be expected. Like he even said, it's not Falcon anymore. It's Captain America. He's Captain America. So yeah, I mean, they could do a another show like that would like connect it, but I mean, I don't, I don't know what that would. Um, uh, take five. Sorry, I don't mean to cut you off, but by the way, Juan, you were right. Uh, it was 2022 when they announced it. I remember okay. I I saved the photos when they announced it, uh, and it was 2022. I had to look oh. back at my photos. Sorry, continue. <laughs> Bro, I had to go to the arcades. Yeah, because I was like, damn. Now, I was like, I was like, let me actually see because I'm not too sure. It didn't feel like it's 2022. <laughs> Bro, you feel wrong. <laughs> no, go on, Jay. Oh no, like, yeah, I mean. Yeah, um, to be expected. And also with how um, fans reacted to Falcon and Winter Soldier, they're probably like, oh, yeah, we're not going to do another season of that. Yeah. No, it's over Bro, you know how much the Steelbook is costing on Amazon right now? Because I looked the other day. 50 $60. For that and Illuminati. Is it the and 4K I'm, one or just the regular I think one? I said Blu-ray. Oh, damn. But it, I'm mad because when it was for pre-order, like in the beginning, it was like for like 40 or whatever. So now I'm probably just going to end up waiting till Black Friday to get them. <laughs> yes, so. I know. Did you ever get the Loki or WandaVision ones yet? Or No, but those are, those are like $30 on Amazon, so I'm not too stressed about that. Yeah. Um. And I kind of want my first one to be Falcon Winter Soldier, personally. Yeah. Understandable. I did want to mention, too, they didn't, in the, in the, what's it called, in the Steelbook itself, it said, for, or the complete first season? Uh. Of Falcon okay. Winter Soldier? Um. Let me look. Bro's pulling out the receipts. <laughs> uh, it's listed as Falcon War Soldier uh, Season 1. Yeah, it says complete first season. Oh. See, I was thinking they'd do something with, like, the the other Falcon. Uh, well, I mean, he, he'll be... He, we know he's going to be in... Well, no, no, um, maybe I'm saying, like, him be, like, the lead of whatever Season 2 was going to be. Uh, I don't know if would I would be. like that. I don't know if I would like that as the lead. Or you think it... you think it'd be off for you, or just? No, I just don't think it would be. I, I think I, I don't. I wouldn't trust it. That that would be like those early Disney Plus trust. Yeah. What's it? Called? It's just gonna the entire second season is just gonna be him trying to be friends with Bucky. <laughs> that is true. Him and Bucky's like no. It's... Because do they even know each other? Like yeah, yeah, they met in the first second episode. Oh, yeah, when they're when he's jumping out of the plane. Oh yeah, okay, yeah, that's right. Yeah. So I mean, still they only encountered. Was that the only time? No, I think they also did during the uh, mom's funeral. Uh, oh. when they fought, I'm pretty sure they they met around that time, or not the mom. It was like the grandma, whatever they called her. Oh, uh-huh. so they they barely know each other. <laughs> they they barely know each other, and I I feel like um, what's it called? Joaquin is just gonna try <laughs> like really hard. 
not saying he can't do a good Falcon. He, you know, yeah. I feel like as oh, a yeah. four year old, yeah, he'd be great. But yeah. no, it, it's literally like one of are coming out now. And would you expect Agatha to get it? Well, I mean, not Agatha because she actually was a popular character. Um, it's like expecting Ralph. Mm, sure, Ralph getting a show or Jimmy Woo, you know, a character that people kind of liked didn't really do much for the plot. Yeah. You know, so yeah. with the whole thing with a uh, you know, Smash and stand up being in a cap four, it sucks, but you know, if it doesn't work with the story, you know, it's it's what's best. I do agree, I think like their chemistry is one of the best in the MCU. I think we could all agree with that. Just like, oh, yeah, going I'd... back to like Civil War, you know, just, what was that thing? The can you move your seat? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> Why didn't you do that before? I hate you. Yeah. Yeah, it's an uh, Seymour. We better. I don't know where you can throw him, actually. I, know, I think about it. Like, I think it all in... only makes sense in like Thunderbolts. Yeah. But I'm just saying, if, if I'm not saying it won't be the case, if he's not in it, like, where could you chuck him? Because. What if? What if? Well, I mean, yeah. like in the sacred, in the in the sacred timeline, Steven. Right? In the canon, yeah. Dark, uh, maybe like Daredevil. not like a Thunderbolts, but like a Dark Avengers, maybe. Yeah, Daredevil. What just shows up? Mm-hmm. Agatha. I don't, feel like he, I don't feel like he would fit in Daredevil. He raises Agatha. <laughs> a Scarlet uh, Witch project because he, they both from Sokovia. Yeah. Or hey, she accidentally triggers the Winter Soldier. Yeah. <laughs> Before we get to the final topic, uh, you guys see that little rumor? We even reported on Culture Shock. Uh, Justin Lin is being eyed for Spider Man 4. What do you guys um, think? See, on one hand, he did some of the Annab- the Conjuring verse movies, which are really good. He did Aquaman, so he does no superhero movies. Well, that's James Wan, just as Lin. <laughs> oh shit! Oh yeah, never mind. I was I was getting my J's confused. <laughs> uh, so wait, he's only done fast. So I saw he did Fast Verse, and what else did he do? Uh, Star Trek Beyond. I won't hold Fast and Furious to him. I think that franchise is just ass, so sure, yeah. give it a shot. I'm more shocked that it's supposed to be going into production this October. Or something like or like later this year. That's crazy. And I think that a lot of that has to do with the Sony deal, which worries me on is this going to be rushed? Yeah. Plus all those rumors of them wanting yeah, Toby and Andrew Beck so bad, but I mean, I trust in Kevin Feige and Disney enough to hold that over at least on Sony. Even though, yes, Spider Man is theirs, kind of technically. I think, I think Feige could outdo <coughs> them on that. And. Uh... I'll say I agree with you. I can't hold uh, Fast and Furious, you know, on him. He did make some good ones too, like he made Fast Five and Six, but he made Nine, which uh, he did. Oh, he was five. The important one is he did. The important one is he did. He did five. That's all you need to know. Tokyo Drift, but but did Tokyo Tokyo Drift? Yeah. Ah, but I feel like Tokyo Drift is only good once you watch like four and five, and then it's like. Oh, this is why it makes sense. Yeah. I mean, Chris Nolan loves it. <laughs> oh. You got the well, one. You've seen Look Chris Nolan movies. Yeah. Not saying they're bad. They're just confusing. He's a confusing guy. <laughs> Oppenheimer. Oppenheimer is probably his least confusing movie since The Dark Knight Rises. And that's That's sings. also confusing. Oppenheimer or Dark Knight Rises? Dark Knight Rises. Okay. I... Okay, fine. I'll go back farther since Dark the Dark Knight. 
So, you know, yeah, 2008, about 2010, something like, no, yeah, 2008, I think. Yeah, 2008. Yeah, so. I Actually, I like Tenet. Tenet was fun. But... Oh, yeah, Tenet's a fun movie. Does it make sense? Uh... Don't, don't give me that. Mm. <laughs> no, you know, you, you need to focus on that. <laughs> yeah, you, you literally need to sit and focus on Christopher Nolan movies yeah. to understand them. With a dude popcorn bucket? Okay. That That's doesn't even make focusing. sense. Yeah. Oppenheimer wasn't that confusing because he went off the source material. <laughs> yeah, exactly. He went off the source material. <laughs> Uh, oh, oh, sorry. We, we kind of went off. Jay, uh, just a little bit of Spider-Man 4. It's just rumor, but uh, what do you think? Yeah, I was... Um, when I asked Lorenzo this last night, because he was uh, talking about it when he was on the PlayStation, um, he said, like, I was low-key, I was like, oh, he did Fast Five in Tokyo Drift. I was like, Five is like the best one. Yeah. I'm like, oh, let's go. Then he said nine. I was like, oh, <laughs> oh. like that. That fought it down. I was like, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I'm I'm fifty fifty on it now. <laughs> like, like if if he would have said just Fast Five and Tokyo Drift, I think I would have been okay with it. But when he said nine, I was like, oh, I don't, I don't know if I like that now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Also, oh yeah, I didn't mention. Uh, it was rumored a while back. I heard rumors of a Spider-Man R-rated project by Sony, and then now we're hearing Venom by uh, Seth Rogen too. So we'll see how that ends up. Assuming that's true, but if it is, oh my god, that movie's but it's gonna go hard. I'm, I'm, That'd be oh. fun. Yeah. <laughs> Gonna go so hard, Steven. I don't think I've heard your thoughts, Steven. What do you think of that? Um, I think I'd be excited for it. I think the one thing that's I don't like, I feel like I don't have to worry about with Sony is their animation studio. So, you know what? Sure, do it. Could I think if, if uh, it's animated, I think uh, he. Most likely work with uh, with, uh, Phil Lord and uh, Chris Miller. Chris Miller. Yeah. Um, I mean, he probably would like reach out to them, maybe. Yeah, yeah, because you know they they do something with animation style too. But yeah, you know, I'm excited for I'm excited for Beyond the Spider Verse this month. That would have yeah, it would have been my birthday movie. <laughs> We're all oh, just weird. This, now I'm thinking about this is like the first birthday. Since Batman versus Superman, where I don't think a movies came out on my birthday, yeah. like a big one that I wanted to watch. Oh, yeah. sad now. <laughs> yeah, because I was like, "Oh my god, that comes out like two days before my or two days after my birthday." Oh my, or yeah, something like that, or before my birthday. I'm like, "Oh my god, I'm going to take off. I'm going to watch this. It's going to be <laughs> awesome." What? What? You- what? Jay, Jay, when you said that he was sad, I thought you were referring to him being sad of, of watching Batman vs. Superman. <laughs> watching uh, what? Wa- watching Batman vs. Superman. You say you uh, saw that on your birthday, right? Like the yeah. Same day? yeah. Yeah, that's why I don't like mind the movie because it it was like my birthday. I can't hate it. <laughs> How well? Transformers: well, The Last Night came out on my birthday, but <laughs> how a bummer. Yeah. Anyways, uh, you know something that's not a cow bummer? X for ninety seven. Oh, that's Our, a mega. That's, yeah, that's a cow mega. Yeah. Uh, I'll just start off. It was great. I loved it. And uh, I think as of when this drops, this episode uh, we're doing drops. Uh, it's gonna be episode three. But first two really good. I I love the little you know cliffhangers we got. You know, Rogue and Magneto. Yeah, we're gonna touch on some light spoilers here, but yeah, it was it was good. It met my expectations. The death theme song always will always kick ass, no matter what. Uh, but yeah, that's that's me, uh, Steven. 
Um, I'll kind of keep my thoughts to it kind of short um, so Jay can go. Um, it took about maybe like a couple, like two minutes for me to be like, oh, I actually don't mind this animation style after all. Um, once I got to like see it in motion and see Cyclops do Cyclops things, um, I think Magneto is so cool. I think he's so awesome. Um, I agree with the, everything that he says and does, which will lead me to a thing that I'm going to say. Um, I don't know if I like the Rogan Magneto thing. I think it's a little weird, but um, okay. Uh, oh, and my most important thing, Storm, spoiler alert, losing, quotations, her powers. I don't care how she gets him back, but the fact that there's like a 35% chance that she goes to Africa and goes to Wakanda and the Black Panther shows up, specifically, obviously, to Chaldo Black Panther, that's fucking awesome. I didn't even think of that. <laughs> I, that's the first thing I thought. I was like, oh, my God, is she going she to go to Africa? Is she going to go to Wakanda? Is she going to talk to T'Challa? Is she going to get like the heart-shaped herb? She didn't Bro, specify was, where she was going either, did she? No, I know, but I was like, I that's just I was like, yeah. she's going to she's going home to Wakanda or not yeah. Wakanda, but Africa. Yeah. Um, and then obviously the thing that I was going to say is after watching this, I don't really care what people th- say, and I've told you both this, but um, unless you can make it make sense for Eric to still be a Holocaust child in twenty thirty when we get x-men in the mcu when it's been almost 100 years since the holocaust make him a civil rights activist survivor make him black and make charles white and i think you'll have i think you'll have an outstanding uh chemistry there uh so yeah Uh, that's that's pretty much all i gotta say good take uh jay Man, this, this show, man. When Speak I speak up, you're mumbling. <laughs> We're just too excited. Oh no, man! Oh <laughs> man! Oh, excited, dude. Oh, but you love that. I know you love. It. Are you enjoying that at least? I. I don't even know where to begin. <laughs> Start with it. <laughs> oh, oh. Hearing that again was that a huge smile on my face. I was like, oh, man. And then just seeing Cyclops go in, like what Steven said, just, oh, my God. Bro, if we, if we would have gotten that, like, them sequences way back, I don't think people would have been on Cyclops that much. But then also just Magneto. Oh, my God. Dude, that speech he gave to, like, the was the Congress. Yeah. Remember? Bro, like, the more yeah, I watch... I've always been saying Magneto's a tortured soul. Yeah, the more I, like, watch and see stuff about Magneto, the more I'm like, yeah, I'd be on his side. Like, it, and, and it's crazy how it's, like, like, it's so even, and I love seeing this stuff, like, talk about this, like, on tw- social media, how it's, even in the 90s, when it was coming out, it's still relevant to stuff today. Like, I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I, I, would, I would definitely say bad. <laughs> I would definitely say bad. But I mean, like, what he's doing, I would say is good. Like, not Magneto, but like, well, the, the message. I mean, let's be honest here, Magneto did kill innocent people. Some of them probably wasn't even mut- mutant haters. But I'm, I'm just saying, like, his, like, message he's trying to get across that that's good yeah and that's why i yeah. i do think him being black in the mcu is perfectly fine give john carlo esposito magneto 
he doesn't want to be in a wheelchair, fine. How about a, a nice helmet instead? Now let this man grow his hair out to match 97. Bro, <laughs> Bro tell favoritus you're simply bad product. <laughs> no, yeah, it, I agree. Oh, sorry. Oh, oh no. I was just going to say, he says that's a Wolverine and bringing <laughs> skeleton in. <laughs> No, I agree with you. He's he's the perfect villain because it's like you you see what he's doing and you can see where he's coming from, but it's just how he does it, you know. And I will admit the the whole it was unexpected. I'm not. I think it's gonna be interesting the whole rogue thing because <laughs> like I want to see like Gamma just. Ooh, it's gonna hey, be you know what? Maybe she just looks to him as a father. Maybe it's not romantical. Maybe oh. we're just putting too much <laughs> things together. All right. Oh, they was putting things together. Not. <laughs> no. I love when Cyclops said that. <laughs> I surrender. Uh, yeah, just hear hear those voices again. You know, great. Or oh. Logan, he's here. Who's Apocalypse? Apocalypse. The baby. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> that is like, like it's not even the like he's not even the dad, obviously. But like, I feel like that's like the most dad thing to say to your significant other when they're about to have your child, and they just come running down the stairs like, he's here. Who the tax collector? <laughs> the child. <laughs> I, yeah, I kind of I like how they they didn't like you know explicitly say, but they kind of. Indicated when Marvel was talking to him, and was it like the bar or the dance club, whatever it was? But yeah, I know you, you kind of you kind of still have some feelings for her. Oh yeah, of course he does. Yeah, it's like yeah, maybe he'll 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 get like he'll get lucky one day. He'll he'll get Storm. Yeah. No. Yeah, no, I, was, I was thinking about it, I was like after yeah, I, what Steven said earlier. Huh? Oh yeah, I I just never like that that romance. Anyways, I just think it looks weird. It me <laughs> Wolverine, well, Wolverine. Um, I don't know. I just can't imagine him with anybody other than Gene, but I can't imagine Gene with anyone other than Scott. So he can stay lonely. Oh, he, his story is so sad. He might as well live be alone. Find. Um, what was his one girl in uh, the Wolverine? Was it? Uh, y- Yukio? No. Are you was... talking about his like wife or whatever that he had in Origins that like was kind of like working against him or whatever? Yeah. Oh, uh, I just think all of his romances end badly. To the point where it's like you can't imagine him with somebody else other than Gene, but that doesn't even have a happy ending. Fuck, it. he should take Nebula. <clears throat> Why not? <laughs> you, you brought a Black Panther, and some people might say, Steven, what are you thinking? But then, you know, we've here, been here for a while, and they're like, yeah, well, we're, you're going to see some cameos here. And maybe. Spider Man might get a revival too. Well, what do See, you guys think of that? Or start with you, Steven, because you had your opinions on the matter. I have two very specific, three very specific thoughts. Okay. Thought one I'm all for Spider Man revival, just not the 90s Spider Man. And you're wondering, oh, well, what the fuck does that mean? You want the ultimate Spider Man? No. Leads me to this point two give me spectacular Spider Man. The 90s had a more full-length run. It had a proper-ish ending, if you want, compared to Spectacular Spider-Man. If any Spider-Man show deserves a renewal, Spectacular. And while we're on the topic of renewals, give me Earth's Mightiest Heroes. I don't give a fuck. Earth's Mightiest Heroes is the best superhero animated cartoon I've ever seen, and I want more. Uh, Jay? Um, I'm, I'm mixed. Because, like, I don't, I don't know, like, 
they might be like stretching a little too much. Like because I mean X Men if it continues to be good, then okay, maybe they might um have something. But I'm just like is X Men like really like gonna be that good for them to actually just go through like oh yeah. We're like yeah, we're gonna revive all these shows because what if they aren't that good? True. No? Like and then also people would be mad because they're like, Oh, they they ruined the show from the nineties. I mean yeah, they're like, Oh, they ruined my child my childhood. Yeah, like well, <laughs> Yeah, no one's been saying that with this, though. So far, we still have yeah. to see the other episodes. Yeah. yeah. But, like, it, it, there'll probably be those people that it doesn't turn out good. They, they will probably say that. But then, like, for the most part, I'm just mixed because, like, <laughs> it's great that they want to revive the shows, but I don't know if, like, they should, like, jump right into it. Yeah. It's a fair point. Well, see, my thing is, is I don't think they would be jumping right into it. I'm sure it's all something that they have planned out in the years darkest. in advance. Yeah. Yeah, I agree with you. I love the 90s Spider-Man series, but it had a more proper I mean, They didn't show what happened to MJ. Sorry for a show that came out 26 years ago. But you're watching this show well, sucks to suck. Spectacular, <laughs> on the other hand, we never, like, even in Spider-Verse, he didn't say what all went down other than Captain Stacy dying. So, the only th- the only reason I don't see that happen is because you guys know about the rights issues with the, it'd be a, it'd be a tricky situation. I'm not saying it can't happen. It's just well. So from my understanding, as long as it's like Spider-Man TV, I'm yeah. fairly certain Disney can do whatever they want. Yeah, no, I've I've seen that too, but it's I guess the spectacular version specifically, because that was a Sony produced show. I I, 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 I could be wrong. I could be wrong, but yeah, and I could be wrong too. I mean, like I said, that's just what I've heard. Yeah, but, and if you do remember, that was it was the it was when it was canceled because of that reason. It's like, oh, that's a Sony show, so we're gonna cancel, and now we're gonna go on with a what's it called a Ultimate, Ultimate. Spider Man, yeah. Which even that wasn't at least like the first two seasons weren't terrible. I agree. I agree. Uh, but yeah, no. I, I think Cap will appear in this if we want to talk about cameos. Uh, Ooh. Maybe your boy Punisher Day? Maybe. Uh, he was in Spider Man. Yeah, I mean, I, I doubt it, though. Like, there, there was a brief, um, what's it called? I, I wouldn't even say cameo from him because apparently it wasn't him in the 90s um, X Men. There was like. No, was, he was in Spider Man, so. Yeah. Yeah, but I'm, I'm just saying, like, there was a character, um, it was when they, the X-Men got transported to, like, that game show planet, whatever. Oh, Mojo War or something? Yeah, and one of the characters was Punisher, one with the red headband, and he had, like, a different name. It wasn't the Punisher, <laughs> but he had his logo and everything. Was it Shatterstar? <laughs> Yeah. Shatterstar from the Planet Mojo world. Not the Cole Young version, Jay. Oh, <laughs> what do you think Cole would have been alive? But, oh yeah, Steven, you brought a Black Panther. I don't, was he in uh, Spider-Man? I don't think he was in any no, of the I 90 think, shows. I think his animated appearances are limited to the That's Ultimate Avengers movie. Yes. Yeah, Earth's Mightiest Heroes, the Ultimate Avenger movie. I'm sorry, Ultimate Avengers 2. Um, Heroes of Tomorrow. 
yeah. Avengers Assembled. Then there was like a BET special or something like that. And that's about it. Yeah. yeah. Shit, bro, bro brought up the lore. Yeah, I was going to say, bro, no, BP lore. <laughs> yeah, I've seen all of them. Yeah. Well, yeah, that, that animated comic, right? With the Jamal yeah, Hopkins. that's why it was like a BT. I just know it was on yeah. BT, I think. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, we'll we'll see what what else are cooking. Come back next week with the episode, episode uh, three. Press you. Press after that. Spicy, spicy cliffhanger. So too, but before we wrap it up, uh, Steven's got a trivia for us, which I've been waiting oh, for. Yeah. All right. You're on the spot, man. So, <laughs> so my trivia is so we all know marvel and dc have had a little you know some crossovers here and there and they had a couple fights they had uh let's see one, two, three, four. they had 12 fights in total Ooh. i want you guys to give me at least i'm gonna i'm gonna be generous i'm gonna say if you can guys name me three of the fights and tell me who won the fights Ooh. Batman versus Punisher. Batman. Who, uh, actually, not. Uh, so I'm. When I looked at it, that was not who Batman fought. Punisher actually was not on the uh, list when I saw. Uh, oh wait, is it just amalgam? Um, only. Or is it just what a is general it? amalgam was one the uh, like. Maria they had like a cro- comic crossover or something like that. Yeah. Okay, so you're talking about like the Marvel versus DC? Like, yeah. Um, Ooh. No. Okay. Uh, Namor versus Aquaman and Namor one. Uh, not Namor one, but I will give you that. I'll just, oh, okay. I'll just, just name me if you can name me three of them. So Jay, one has one up on you. All right. Um, if you really think about it, a lot of them are very obvious. And then there's one that I was like, why did this happen? Batman and Iron Man. No. Still O for, still OJ. Wonder Woman and uh, Storm. Correct. Do you not happen to know who won that fight? Just for curiosity. Storm. Yes, you did. Wow, Jay. You got to come back, man. Iron Man and Green Lantern. Iron Man was not even on this list. What? Oh, my God. (laughs) All right, Juan, to seal the deal. Uh, Hulk and Batman? No, what the fuck? Oh, um, <laughs> it happened. It happened. But it's on his list, so okay. No. Uh, um, Jay, you got another chance. Genius. Uh, and I'm trying to think back. Oh, oh. You better hold. You better hold that. Ooh, 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 ooh. I'm, trying to, I'm, trying. <laughs> I'm gonna give you twenty seconds. Um, Captain America and Batman. Yes. Do you know who won that fight? Captain America. No, Batman. All right, Juan, to steal the victory. Uh, Lobo and Wolverine. Correct. Do you not know who won that fight? Uh, Wolverine. And that is also correct. Yeah. Now, here's here's the crazy one that I saw when I was looking at this. So, Robin, I'm pretty sure it's Dick Grayson's Robin. He had a fight. Do you want to know who he fought and beat? Who? Jubilee. Who? Why? I don't know. <laughs> How? I don't know. What are her powers? Fireworks? Yeah. And she fought. I. Mm. You could have blinded so the, the, other, the, the other fights from this comic lineup was um, Flash versus Quicksilver, Flash 1. Uh, uh, Electra versus Catwoman, Electra 1. Silver Surfer versus Green Lantern, and Silver Surfer 1. Uh, Thor versus Sazam, Thor 1. Superman versus Hulk, Superman 1. That's why when you said Batman versus Hulk, I was like, what the fuck? Yeah, that, that, that didn't happen, uh, though. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, like that, that. I was like, why would you say Batman and not Superman? Well, first? Oh, wait, so you're referring to what I think the was it three 
or five part limited series? Uh, it might have been. I just I just googled Marvel versus DC, and this was the first lineup that I saw. Okay. Uh, Spider Man versus Superboy. It's Spider Man one, and oh. then and then we had the other ones: Batman, Wolverine, and Storm. Damn, I was I was gonna say Spider Man, <laughs> Superboy, but I was like, I don't know if that like because Wait, did, you, did you say yeah. Aquaman and Namor? Yeah, that was the first one. Okay. Yeah. And Aquaman won that fight. Okay. okay. Bro got crushed by a whale. <laughs> they won. So yeah, that was the one. That was the one that I got. Uh, There's another one that I'll say for the next time I do trivia. But uh, yeah, I made made y'all think. And damn, Jay, you really suck at this. <laughs> <laughs> Jay would I like to apologize. All the other fights in my head because I was gonna say I was. I'm, wait, did I even say Venom and Superman? No. Oh, okay, because that's I, the one I always be telling you. <laughs> yeah, because I was I was gonna bring that one up. I was like, Venom versus Superman. I was like, is that one of them? Yeah, yeah. and uh, I bought a Batman and Punisher. Wow, Battle of the uh, No Families. That's crazy. Hey, but- just saying, Punisher needs a kid, and Batman needs a dad. Robbie <laughs> swinging him. <laughs> well, I guess that wraps it up. For this, uh, thank you, Stephen, for the awesome trivia. I'll be back. You know, get hit the gym, get muscular, get ready, get ripped. Show these guys I mean business. You better. Yeah, man. But yeah, that wraps up this uh, week's Nerds Layer. Thank you guys all for joining us. Quanta, you can follow me on uh, wherever Instagram. Steven? Um, you can find me at saying happy birthday to Jay Money. Well, oh, thanks. So, yeah. Happy birthday, Jay. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, yeah. Happy Easter to all. Yeah. Yeah. Bunny hopping. Yeah. Uh, Jay? Oh, you can find me at jmoneydej on Instagram. DJ. <laughs> sure. And yeah, and follow us at Culture Shocks on our socials, like, subscribe, and share, and we'll see you guys next time. Have a good night.